Hi everyone, Aviator Sim here, and today we're back with another video. Today we'll be going through a quick tutorial of how to fly the RNAV approach. We'll be flying into Opalaka Airport in Florida, shooting the RNAV for a runway 27 right. A little background on what the RNAV approach is. The RNAV is a non-precision approach that relies on satellite navigation, also known as GPS, to provide accuracy for approaches without vertical guidance. In aviation, we have both precision and non-precision approaches, the RNAV being a non-precision approach. Non-precision approaches allows us to bring the aircraft to where the runway is in view and a visual landing can be performed. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, let's take a quick look at the approach plate for RNAV runway 27 right. You see that up here in the top right corner, we have Opalaka, the airport we're flying to in the left corner. So they want us to come in at Isra's at 1,700 feet. It's okay to come in a little under. I'm going to come in at about 1,600 feet. And then I'm going to proceed on to Jolin. And from Jolin, I should have the airport in my sight and disconnect the autopilot and hand fly it down to the runway. So let's program this into our FMS and let's see what happens. So if we click MFD, brings us to our flight plan. We're going to hit procedure procedure says approach rnav 27 right but if we click in the procedure up here it says ils 9 left and that's not what we're shooting so let's click into that and click oh let's click into that rnav 27 left we want to load and activate and hit activate approach we're currently on our way to taos in 18 nautical miles and we want to shoot for that 1600 feet right now we're at 3000 so let's get down Hit the vertical speed. And I think a thousand feet per minute should be good. Let's bring that yoke back up. Inertial step in. We're under 5,000 feet. That's good. Let's turn on our landing lights. That should have been on already. So we're making our way from Zarna to Taos. We're about 14 nautical miles away from Taos. When we get under 10, I'm going to click the uh, approach hold button. It's going to take it from nav to approach hold. And also under 10, I'm going to bring my speed down to around 170, 180. Here we are leveling out at 1600 feet and we're going to keep that until we see the runway in sight. In real life we would never be flying this low over Fort Lauderdale International. This would never happen. Right about 7 nautical miles out from Taos. I'm just going to hit the approach hold button. It's going to take over. GP which stands for glide path will illuminate as green when we are on the glide path. You can tell by this diamond right here it should start up here and move down as we get closer but we'll see what happens. Just in case we don't capture this glide path we always want to be ready to decrease the uh, altitude manually. But in this situation we're coming in at 1600 feet so we should be able to see the runway at 1600 feet, take the autopilot off and get the plane down manually with no problems. Here we go turning right. Just made it to Isra's. From here should be to Jolin and straight into the runway. Pretty sure that's what I'm seeing right up there. That's looking like it right there. Opalaka. So on our approach down to the runway we want to be between 85 and 95 knots. We should capture this glide path as soon as we cross Jolin right here. I'm going to drop the gear as well as the second set of flaps. Let's 
95 knots. Runway in sight. And here comes the glide path. We captured it. It's green. It's bringing us down to the runway. And now all we have to do since we're still in autopilot is just maintain whatever speed we want. Since it's on autopilot, it'll pitch by itself. To maintain the speed, we just have to move the throttle and get it where we need it to. Actually gonna... Gonna put this altitude up to 2,000 feet. Because that's what we need if we go missed. We want to climb to 2,000 feet. Alright, then when we get down to about 500, I'll take off the uh, autopilot and I'll hand fly this in. I'm happy it captured the glide path this time. Last two times I tried this, it, it did it. But I did just do the uh, update, so maybe that did something. Alright, 500 feet. Autopilot coming off. Yaw damper off also. And let's fly this down to the ground. Speed is good. A wind correction. There we go. Little right rudder. Over the piano keys. Let's bring the throttle back slowly. There we go. Beautiful. Now let's keep that center line. Alright, this was a quick tutorial of how to shoot the RNAV approach. We use runway 27 right in Opalaka. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.